when it comes to using AI agents, you need to build them and then integrate them into an application to start using them. In this video, I'm gonna show you the six ways you can integrate your AI agents and start using them today. The first way is through scripting and automation. When I say scripting, I mean running a PowerShell script or a Python script or a Jupyter Notebook that calls the SDK or the API directly for your AI agent. You could also use an automation trigger. There's a recent feature currently in preview at the time of recording that allows you to trigger an AI agent through something like a logic app. Let's see an example. I'm in Azure AI Foundry and I have this agent called happy birthday email agent. This agent sends an email on my behalf to somebody that I specify. And if their email address is in my knowledge base for that agent, it'll send the email. Let's put this happy birthday email agent in a script file, which is the first step to implementing it in an application. I'll open it in the playground and from the playground, I'll go to view code. This is the code in Python to begin implementing this agent into an application. There's also code snippets available in C Sharp and JavaScript. I could copy this code here on the screen and bring it into my local VS Code environment, or I could open up a Visual Studio Code browser-based environment using this open in VS Code button. Let's do this now. All of the packages and libraries necessary for this to run are installed for me. Let's close this terminal and check out the files that are available here. I can see this run agent Python file, which has the actual code to run my agent, a requirements file, an instructions file for all of the things that go on in the browser-based version of Visual Studio Code, an install script for running this locally, a git ignore file, and a .env file. Looking at this run agent file, I can see the libraries that get installed to make this run for the Python SDK for Azure AI agents. I see a Visual Studio Code credential, which is specific to this Visual Studio Code browser-based environment where it will run on the cloud shell. You won't need this part locally. I can see where my project is initiated based on my endpoint. My agent is selected based on its ID. The thread is selected based on its ID. And I have a message that I can craft to add for this first run for the agent. I'll change this to what do you do? So that when this runs, it'll ask my happy birthday email agent what it does. I'll open up the terminal, make sure we're in the right place, and run the file. If you wanna see how the happy birthday email agent is built, you can check out my video on the agents playground in Azure AI Foundry. Another way you can use your agent in an application is by having your agent be part of an automation that's triggered by something like a logic app. This is available currently in preview by creating a trigger to trigger your agent. There's documentation on how this can be done. Note that it is in preview and so production cases should not be used at this time. Number two, the second way is by using an existing application. This could be using something like Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook, Slack, Facebook, GroupMe, or Telegram an existing application where the UI it already exists for you and you just need to integrate your AI agent into that UI or that existing application. This can save you time from having to build out your own larger custom UI because an existing application already has so much of the UI components already in place. You just have a few things you need to configure to get your AI agent implemented into this application. Let's see an example of this. I'm in Visual Studio Code where I created an AI agent for Microsoft Teams to take advantage of Microsoft Teams application as my UI to interact with my AI agent. This is a simple AI agent that speaks like a pirate when it speaks to the user and it also tells a pirate joke at the end of its help. Now I'll go from Visual Studio Code and I'll go to this chat that I have already with my pirate speaking teams app. And I'll ask it a question like, why is the sky blue? And it should speak to me with only a pirate tone. 
I have my response back from my agent in Microsoft Teams that's speaking to me, telling me why the sky is blue with a pirate tone. Number three, use an application template for a simple UI. An example of this is where you can go to the Azure AI Foundry chat playground and deploy your AI agent as a web app. Let's see how this is done. I'm in Azure AI Foundry within this project called the AIS AI agent dash demo. I'll go over to the playgrounds and I'll enter the chat playground. I'll choose an open AI GPT version model. In this case, I'll use GPT 4.0 mini. And then I'll come to the system message and I'll give it a prompt. You are a helpful pirate assistant. You speak with a pirate tone and always end your help with a pirate joke. I'll apply the changes and I'll give this a try. What can you do? You should sound like a pirate and have a joke at the end. Ahoy matey. Some more information. The pirate joke. Why did the pirate go to school? To improve his articulation. All right. So now let's say I want to deploy this and I'm going to use a template application uh, within the chat playground. I'll go to the deploy up here at the top where I can go to deploy as a web app. I'll select this and I have the option to deploy to an existing web app or create a new one. For this example, I'll create a new one so you can see what this looks like. If I wanted to deploy this to a new application, I'll call this um, example deploy pirate chat app. I'll choose a subscription. Select a resource group. I'll select this resource group AI agents applications. Choose a location, choose a pricing tier. Sometimes in my experience, you might need to play with a couple of the options because you might not have the right SKUs that are available at your region or your um, pricing tier. You might need to request uh, access to certain types of SKUs at certain regions, um, but play with it. This is still a relatively new feature. Uh, and once you have the right configuration, you'll be able to create a new web app. So I'll hit deploy where it'll va validate the template and start deploying my web app. I can see up here that my web app is beginning to be deployed. I can also see up here it says deploying the web app. This takes a few minutes, but if you want to check it out, you can see in the deployments tab. So you can always come to Azure. This is the resource group where it's being deployed to. Within Azure, I can always come to my deployments within the resource group and see the existing deployment that is now occurring. You can watch this now until it's done. We won't wait until this is done, however. I have another deployment where this has already been completed. And in fact, I can come to Azure AI Foundry and I can go to my web apps here on the bottom. I can see my deployment being done and I can see my other existing deployments. We'll select this pirate model deployment which will take us to this deployment that I have here, which is the default UI available for this web app. I can go ahead and start using this. What can you do? And again, should have my same pirate language because I had a model that I deployed with the same system message before as well. Again, sounding like a pirate, ahoy matey, with the pirate joke at the end. This is the GitHub repo that houses the code for the application template that is deployed on Azure AI Foundry within the chat playground when you deploy to a web app. It deploys a container where it bundles up all the code and puts it in a web app or an Azure app service within Azure as a container. If you wanna make changes to your existing web app that gets created, that you deployed from Azure AI Foundry, you'll need to pull this code down, you'll need to make changes to it, you'll have to build a new container, 
and you'll have to push that to a container registry. Your web app can then pull the new container from that container registry. Alternatively, you can pull this code and you could deploy your own web app to Azure using a native programming language and not a container. This is an example of an application where I made changes to the application code and I created a new container, sent it to an Azure container registry, and then had my web app that was existing that I deployed from Azure AI Foundry pull that new container image to build this application. We can go ahead and make a quick command here. What can you do? And it should have the same pirate attitude that it had before. And I can see that it does. Ahoy matey with a pirate joke. I'll add a link in the description to that GitHub repo if you want to take advantage of that templated application. Next, you could create your own custom application. This would involve you building out a UI that is for the web, mobile, or desktop. Let's see a web example now. I'm within a custom application that's on the web. I created some code along with the help of AI to create a user interface to work with my AI agent. This AI agent is deployed on Azure AI Foundry and the front end UI is deployed to an Azure static web app with a managed API function that is associated with the Azure Static Web App. I'm using my happy birthday email agent, which sends emails to people that I specify if they exist in the knowledge base or if I give a specific email address. Let's give this a try now. I'll say, send a happy birthday email to my friend, Mason, who is turning 25 today. My agent responded via the user interface I built, saying that he sent a fun birthday email to Mason, wishing him a fantastic 25th birthday. Let's check Mason's email to see if he got it. And pulling up the inbox for Mason, I can see the email that Mason received, wishing him a happy 25th birthday from my AI agent. To get access to the files that I use to build my UI for my AI agent, you can find them on the Azure Innovation Station community. To learn more, go to the link in the description or go to school.com slash Microsoft dash Azure. Taking this one step further, you could deploy a templated solution where not just the application is deployed, but other components that make your entire AI solution function. Azure AI Foundry has a list of templated solutions that you can choose from, where multiple different resources will be deployed that you can instantly use to create your AI solution. Let's see an example of one of these being deployed now. I'm inside Azure AI Foundry, within the templates section under build and customize. We can see the different solution templates that are available and we'll click on this Get Started with AI Agents, which opens a GitHub repo. We can take a look at this example solution template and see the different components that will be deployed when we deploy this solution template. Looking at this in more detail, there's an Azure Container app that runs the UI that interacts with our AI agent. We see our Azure AI Foundry project sits in the back end, which houses our AI agent, which we know about. There's the application insights, log analytics workspace for monitoring and tracing. And you could choose to set up the right environment variables for an AI search resource to be created as well. To deploy a solution template like this, there's several options. You could deploy using a GitHub code spaces, using a dev container, or just do it locally. It uses the Azure Developer CLI in order to spin up all the resources at once. You can also tear them down at once once you're done with them. Here's an example resource group that deployed all the resources from the solution template. The only thing that's different here is that the solution template won't deploy a container registry if you want to make updates to the solution template. I deployed this container registry so that I could make changes and then redeploy the new image for the UI. And for this particular solution template, this is an example of what the UI would look like. What can you do for me? And you'd interact with this AI agent like you would with any other UI. And this is an example of a deployed solution template that you could take advantage of. 
To make changes to the UI for a templated solution like this, you need to make changes to the code, create a new container image, put that in a container registry, and have your container app pull from that container registry to update the UI. And the final way to utilize your AI agents is with a custom solution, where you build out each of the components yourself with the most flexibility, but also the most effort. An example of this is Microsoft Copilot, where it's feature rich with the ability to upload documents, use voice back and forth, save and reference old conversations and more. These features require larger components in the background that Microsoft has built out for this custom solution. And you can do this too for your AI solution. And those are the six ways that you can integrate your AI agent into an application. Please leave feedback and questions in the comments below. I respond to every comment to help as many people as I can. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to this channel if you want to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.